What is up guys, Dylan here, and in this series we are going to learn how to program a hangman game using a Java FX. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe, and let's get into it. So we are going to be programming the game that you see here on your screen, where we can choose word length and dictionary, and then we can play the game. We can guess letters, and this is going to be a fun version because it is for Evil Hangman. So, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so for this project, we are going to be developing an in IntelliJ with JavaFX. Now, of course, you are welcome to use the Eclipse Editor, but some of the tips that I have for you guys will be specific to IntelliJ, so that is what I recommend using. If you'd like help getting JavaFX set up with IntelliJ and with Scene Builder, I will link that tutorial that I made down into the description below. So let's get into it. You can see here I have my create project page up on IntelliJ. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. Make sure JavaFX application is selected and click next. Name it whatever you like. I will call mine Evil Hangman and go ahead and click finish. So that'll bring the project right up like this. But if we go to our main.java, we are going to see that there are some components missing. So let's go ahead and set that up. Go ahead to file, project structure, libraries, click this plus button, Java. Navigate to where you have saved your JavaFX files and go ahead and save the bin. We wanna make sure and get the bin or the lib, my bad. We want the lib. Go ahead and click OK. OK again and just name it whatever you like. Once that is done, we have one more step. We need to add some VM options to our run configuration. So go up to here where it says main, edit configurations, VM options, and I will paste what you need to type in here down into the description below. Alrighty guys, so here's an example of what you need to paste into this box, but this path will be different for you because it will represent where you have saved the JavaFX lib folder. So once that's done, let's go ahead and press OK and run our project for the first time just to make sure that everything is correct. And if you've set it up correctly, you should get a little window just like this. So let's go ahead and in this video, we are going to program the user interface. Now to, uh, for this, we are going to need Scene Builder, which again, I will show you how to install in the tutorial that I have linked down in the description. So for now, I will assume that you already have that on your computer. To go ahead and use Scene Builder, we are going to click down on this evil hangman, go into source, sample, and we should see this .fxml file right here. We're going to be using two scenes for this project. We're going to have the title page and we're going to have the game page. So let's go ahead and rename this one here using the refactor button to title.fxml and click refactor. And then we will go to sample, new, fxml file, and we are going to type in, let's just call it, oops, caps lock, game. So now to start editing our user interface, we are going to go over to title, right click, open in scene builder, and voila, we should get a page that looks just like this. So to start developing, we want to go over to containers. We want to go over to pane and right away, we're going to go down to code because we want to give this an ID so that we can switch between this container and the other scene later on. So I'm just going to call it pane title so that we know it's a pane and then we give it a name. And then let's go over to layout. We're going to adjust the size. So I think a good size we could try out maybe would be 700 by let's try 500 and perfect. That looks like a great size. Now you always want to make sure to save often with control S because sometimes scene builder can be a little buggy. Now let's go ahead and check that our changes were updated. We're going to go over to main.java and right here we are going to update the size. So let's use 700 by, I think we said 500, 
And let's rename the title to Hangman Game, like so. And go ahead and run again to see if our changes were included. So we can see our changes have been included here. So let's go ahead and start spicing the, this interface up a little bit. So let's head back over to our scene builder. And in scene builder, we're gonna start by giving this thing a color. So let's go to properties, style, background color. And here we're going to add in a hexadecimal color code. So I will go over to Google and use an HTML color picker to pick a color. I'm feeling kind of a more turquoise-ish, light turquoise -ish color today, just like the example you guys saw. So, but you guys can pick whichever color you like. Then go over here and copy the hex code and paste it in right here where we have FX background color, like so, and press enter. And we should see it updated here. And let's save just in case. So now let's go ahead and start adding some text to this thing. So we're gonna go over here to controls and we want to add a label. Now for this label, we are going to just put in the title of the game, which of course is Hangman. And then we can choose a font that we want And once you've chosen a font and a size, you can reposition that on the page like so. And then we can go ahead and add in a label because we are going to want to choose our word length. And adjust it like so. And one more for, the dic for which dictionary that we are using. Good, so now that we've styled those, let's just go ahead and save the page. And just because I'm paranoid, we are going to check that it still runs and that our changes have been updated. And here we go, we have our updated changes right here. Perfect. Now one thing I should know is if you do not save before you run after making changes, then you will not see the updated changes here on this page. So let's go to back to scene builder. I think I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Perfect. And we will give them the option to enter a word length here by using a by using a text field like so. And we can go ahead to layout and adjust, adjust the preferred size. We are going to say well, we'll worry about the size later. And let's do a combo box, or basically a drop down menu for choosing which dictionary that we are going to use, like so. And then we will use a button lined up in the middle of the page to go ahead and start the game. So we are going to give that a text of start and style it how you like. And just position that in the middle of the page like so. And then because we're going to link, be linking this to a method that we will write in our controller, we are going to give it an ID of button start. So that way it will be able to run some code with the on action here. Alrighty, so now that we have got this, we're going to control save. And let's go back over to our IntelliJ and see, make sure that we like the changes that we've made. So this is great. I think it looks beautiful. And actually guys, real quick, before I forget, I think we should change part of our game right here. I think something else will work a little bit better. So go ahead and head back to Scene Builder. We're going to delete this text field because we only want them to enter certain links for 
four words. So we are going to make that also a combo box. Now, we also want to link these back to the controller. So we are going to give it a label, an ID of CMB for combo box length. And then for this word list, we will give it a CMB of list. CM, oh, CMB list. And go ahead and control save. And once again, check that out. Looking good. Alrighty guys, so that is going to be it for our first video in this Hangman series. In our next video, we are going to be finishing up the GUI for the game screen. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.